ACVRL1, Wikipedia article audio. 2LCR, 3MY0, 4FAO. NM000020, NM0017740101. Function. Pathology. NM0012772555, NM0012772577, NM0127725, NM0127725, NM0096129, NP000011, NP0010708699. NP0012641844, NP0012641866, NP0026487, NP0026488, NP0337422. Serine slash threonine protein kinase receptor R3 is an enzyme that in humans is encoded by the ACVRL1 gene. ACVRL1 is a receptor in the TGF beta signaling pathway. It is also known as active in receptor like kinase 1, or ALK1. As a drug target, this gene encodes a type I cell surface receptor for the TGF beta superfamily of ligands. It shares with other type I receptors a high degree of similarity in serine threonine kinase subdomains, a glycine and serine rich region preceding the kinase domain, and a short C terminal tail. The encoded protein, sometimes termed ALK1, shares similar domain structures with other closely related ALK or active in receptor-like kinase proteins that form a subfamily of receptor serine-slash-threonine kinases. Mutations in this gene are associated with hemorrhagic telangiectasia type 2, also known as ron duosler weber syndrome 2. Germline mutations of ACVRL1 are associated with Closely-slash-family-related kinases Somatic mosaicism in ACVRL1 are associated with severe pulmonary arterial hypertension. ACVRL1 directly interacts with low-density lipoprotein, which implies that it might initiate the early phases of atherosclerosis. ALK4 is ACVR1B. ALK7 is ACVR1C, and ALK5 is the TGF beta type I receptor. This article incorporates text from the United States National Library of Medicine, which is in the public domain. Hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia type 2, pulmonary arteriovenous malformations. <laughs>